everyone welcome back to the weekend vlog today is Saturday it's um, just about noon right now I just pulled up to Kroger and I'm going to grocery shop for the week Alex is at home with Nate right now and I literally fed him and left well fed him got ready and left and I'm wearing makeup right now for the first time in probably like two weeks and I feel amazing and I took time to actually like take care of myself this morning and it feels good and I'm wearing my pre-pregnancy jeans and I'm pretty proud about it so yeah let's go grocery shop obviously someone really cool was hanging out in the bulk area okay I just made it out of Kroger I got soaked because it's raining uh, quite a lot right now but I uh, got everything stayed under budget and I found myself some nice pretty flowers now I'm gonna head back home unload groceries Nate is due to eat again um, so yeah I actually picked up I think I just showed you guys I picked up some um, Sam Adams Oktoberfest which is like my favorite beer this time of year so I'm excited to have one right here's where I put my pink roses and I put them in this cute little mason jar and I thought I would put them in our bathroom because that way I will see them every morning when I wake up and all night I'll see nice flowers um I actually just reorganized this bathroom and can you tell that I like the color pink because I think you can't tell and we put all of the perfumes and colognes up there and I actually moved my makeup area to right here and my jewelry on top of our jewelry situations and use my closet yeah and Alex's teeny tiny little side <laughs> he chose that though he wanted to get rid of most of his hanging stuff and put it in his uh, drawers in the bedroom so yeah, I really like this cute little setup. A uh, teenage girl actually just came by and she was asking if we've seen any of her three cats because I guess her grandma drove over here and just like ditched them, like dropped them off and left them. So uh, she was like ro walking around door to door trying to see if she could find anyone who maybe took them in or found her cats. So now we're kind of keeping an eye out for her and we got her phone number, but I just think that's so sad. Like I was actually kind of holding back tears because I could tell she was really upset and um, she's a really like sweet, caring girl to like be going around knocking door to door, like asking if anyone has seen them. Like you could tell she cared about them so much and I just honestly can't believe someone could be that cold. It's amazing, the people in this world. Uh -huh. Okay, so, whew, it's a couple hours later now. I just got done feeding Nate again. Um, so now I'm going to run over to Ulta because I'm out of my concealer. Um, which normally I use the Tarte Shape Tape, but it's really expensive um, for how fast I go through it. I think it's like almost $30, like it's like 28 or something. Uh, so I'm going to try to see if there's any uh, drugstore priced um, concealer that A is vegan and B matches my skin tone. which. Um, it's really tricky to find my exact skin tone because I'm very pale, if you haven't noticed. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go do that and then I'll come back and start dinner. It's like six o'clock right now. So I just got home, um, I will show you guys what I got from Ulta. It's the tiniest haul of history because there's only two things. 
So I found a concealer that's both vegan and match my skin tone, and it's this one right here. And seal and define, and I got it in shade C2, the second lightest shade possible. The lightest shade possible was C1. This one just looked like it had um, more of a neutral shift to it. Then I got these nail polish, um, I don't know, these French manicure nail polish things. Um, I have been using the Color Street brand and I saw these in Ulta and I was like, well, they actually look the exact same. Like the package, the packaging is the exact same. Um, the instructions are the exact same. I'm pretty sure it's basically the exact same thing. So I'm going to give these a try and I'll let you guys know what I think because they were actually um, a decent amount cheaper. I think they were like... $8.99 versus the $14. Let's see. $7.99. So definitely cheaper. Hopefully they last as long because these ones that I'm wearing right now have been lasting me, uh, I think, almost three weeks now. Like they're basically, they've grown out before they've chipped. So I'm gonna go inside now and start dinner and I will show you all what I make. I'm making this uh, kale, gnocchi, creamy sauce, like pasta dish basically with um, my cheesy garlic bread. <gasps> Hi baby. <gasps> Hi sweetie. Uh. Wow. What'd you do while mommy was gone? This? Wow. Oh. Hi, baby. <gasps> Hi, sweetie. You look sleepy. You should sleep. Uh. Yeah. Cutie patootie. Oh. <gasps> I missed you. Uh. You missed me, too. Uh. Yeah. For dinner I made cheesy garlic bread, which I will set the link up right here. Click on that if you want to learn how to make my cheesy garlic bread. And then this is uh, garlic gnocchi with kale. And it's kind of in a cashew sauce, so it's super creamy also. It's really delicious and um, high protein and full of kale, obviously, so it's really good. Yes. Someone discovered the TV and he's just freaking out about it. Sleeping baby. So I just got this order in the mail from Amazon and I ordered this cute sweater. And I actually, I'll link it below. I ordered it in a large because they said that it runs a little small and I wanted it to be kind of loose fitting. So I ordered it in a large and it's perfect. I actually don't think that I would have fit into my normal size, which is a medium. So, because the sleeves are like, they're not very baggy, they're pretty fitted. So, and then I also ordered this cocktail, you know, uh, cocktail jewelry ring um it was really pretty i just put it with my normal wedding band okay so alex has gone getting his hair cut right now um nate's hanging out in the swing my friends just left um chelsea and melanie came over too chelsea was getting some boxes because she's moving and melanie wanted to meet nate and now nate is just hanging out in his little swing being cute and I think I'm about to start dinner here soon. It's still, I mean, it's like five o'clock right now. Um, but I'm getting pretty hungry because we haven't eaten since breakfast. So I think I'm going to start dinner soon. And I think I'm going to make a curry. Maybe. We'll see what Alex wants when he gets home. But he's on his way home and then I'll show you guys his haircut. Here's Alex's haircut. Short hair guy.
Okay, for dinner, I am making vegetable curry. So these are the frozen veggies that I just threw in the skillet. There's cauliflower, broccoli, and carrots. And then I'm also boiling some golden potatoes to add to the curry. And then I'm going to do this vindaloo sauce from Kroger. And this stuff is so delicious. Um, I didn't have high expectations when I first bought it, but it's so super good. It really tastes like you're at um, an Indian restaurant. And it's totally vegan. And I'm also making some basmati rice to go along. And Nate is crying, but Alex has them, don't worry. <laughs> so yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. This is my vegetable curry. Now we're just sitting down watching Cutthroat Kitchen. And Nate's hanging out right here. <laughs> Hi. Bright. Sorry.